the things that are in form that are around us are actually touchstones for a larger reality that's behind them. Put in the largest terms, who we are as human beings is a symbol of God. We are a symbol of God. And when you meet somebody, they are that. They stand for God. They're like a bookmark in the book of life. And by opening the book at that bookmark, you come into a reality of God that they are a window for, a bookmark for, a symbol of. If you're not careful and attentive to the outer form of how you're being with that person, you're left with, you didn't get me a chair, or I didn't like the wine you served me, or I didn't like the way you looked at me, or you weren't thoughtful. Now, we might hope that however we were, that people would still be open, or that things would go well, but not so, really, in the practical living of life. It requires our mastery to open up the book. The mastery is not only in handling the practical. It is that. It includes that. We can't bungle through the practical and hope to have a grand spiritual experience. But beyond that, we're not just being masterful in handling the details of our life. We're being masterful in opening up the form that's in front of us so that we can access and have a deep interchange with the reality that it symbolizes. Put in general terms, people are a symbol of God. I say there, there is something in every person that you meet that is worthy of your worship. There's a strong word. But if indeed we are a symbol of God as human beings, when you meet another person, there's something in them that's worthy of your worship, your adoration, your highest love, I don't care what they did yesterday. I don't care what side of the bed they woke up on or which one you woke up on. There's something there. When we stop and acknowledge what's worthy of worship in another person, even if we don't say too much to them, but just in ourselves, just just acknowledge, you know, whatever's on the surface, what's ever at a personality level or an emotional level, there's something deeper here. And maybe an average person might not notice or might not care or might not fi find it. But what I know is this person is holding a bookmark in the book of life. They're a symbol for the divine. They're a symbol of God beingness. And so whatever they've done, whoever they are, I can worship that in them. And so it is with all our lives and all the things in our lives, all the people, all, all the places, all the thing, things that we're about. It's not just the form itself. The form is a window into another reality. And yes, we can be attentive to the practical thing, things about the forms in our lives. We should be. But beyond that, we can honor the inner dimensions that the form is a window to, a symbol of, a bookmark. Shall we open the book? 
Do you want to open the book when you meet another person? 